Alright guys, we're back with Crystalis uh, for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, while we were gone, I went ahead and uh, I ground out two levels. I'm level six now. We went ahead and got the leather armor and the bronze shield. And uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to go get the Sword of Fire, the Tornado Bracelet, uh, find Tornell the Wise Man, and we're going to try to get through Mount Saber. So let's go! So now that I can talk to animals using telepathy, and I got that from defeating Stom, if you'll remember. Oh. Oh. Now that I can talk to animals, sorry. Uh, we can go back to the village of Oak. And we can see what their issue is. Excuse me, sir. Gotta remember to equip the gas mask. Oh, Jesus. Those still hurt. Yeah, see, now, they, uh, now they'll talk to me. So, in here... She hasn't seen his boy. Her boy, excuse me. So let's cruise on down here. We gotta find a little... Bear Dwarf guy. I believe he's down here. Yeah, there he is. So we're gonna bring him home. There we go. Let's go talk to the mom. The insect flute, that's gonna be instrumental in our next uh, our next quest here. Uh, looks like the item shop's unlocked. Let's go talk to the elder. Monster in the poison swamp. Oh, the dwarves. Awesome, we got the sword of fire. So what they're talking about is... I wonder if I have enough to sleep. Yeah, I've got enough to sleep. Uh, yeah. What they're talking about is an insect. A giant insect in the swamp over here. Oops. Get out of here. So we're gonna equip the insect flute. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Whoops. I was trying to kill him, but I hit my button anyway. Anyway, so this is the bug boss. This guy is super dangerous. It's, it's kind of funny that the, the smaller insect does more damage than the larger insect. Ooh! Excuse me, sir. Oh, and that's it. That's him. And he's gonna drop the ball of fire. Awesome. And that's gonna give us this awesome attack. In case you didn't see it, it shoots a, a column of fire, basically. So now that we have the the ball of fire, whoops. Let's head back to Brynmere. Ooh. I can kill the mushrooms now. They're not uh, invulnerable, which is awesome. Ah, come on. You know, technically we don't even have to go back to the town. So let's go ahead and just press on straight to uh, Mount Saber West. Which strangely enough is actually south. 
Hitboxes, come on. Oh. I zombies. These guys hurt a lot. But they also give a lot of XP. Grab these guys and uh, I think this is the one we jump up. Yeah. So those are ice slides, and the rabbit boots allow you to jump them, jump up them. Jesus Christ. Alright, so these guys are weak to wind. A lot of sword switching in this game. Poison snakes. Awesome. And I think these are, yeah, spiders. Oh my goodness. Now I believe later we'll get a sword that allows us to hit both. Tornado bracelet, awesome. So that's our tornado bracelet, that's the first part. Uh, now we find Tornell, who is also in Mount Saber West. Jeez. And if you're wondering why I'm not bypassing a lot of these enemies, I will need the XP. Uh, excuse me, the XP. Um, there is a level-based kind of uh, weakness system for the bosses. And I believe the next boss is level 7. Jeez. That's right. through here. Nice, a pair of warp boots. Always need warp boots. And it's crazy, the, um, the hitboxes for those spiders actually do not match the way they're drawn at all, the sprite itself. So they, they are pretty, yeah, they are pretty dangerous. Get away. Little medical herb there, nice. We'll head out this way. I think it's left. Jeez, yeah, did you see that? He hit me to the left while I was standing under him. Pardon me. Alright. More zombies. Oh, um, that's Tornell, actually. So he's probably back in the cave we just left. I know there were a couple alternate routes there. If I could stop getting hit by zombies, that'd be amazing. Poison snakes, get away from me. I think next, yeah, spiders. Excuse me, sir. More poison snakes. Ooh, 
weave my way through all that danger. A magic ring. Okay, so the magic ring, I believe, completely replenishes all your MP. And he's gonna teach me teleport. Awesome. Okay, so we have teleport. So the next place we are going to go actually is going to be Leaf. Go ahead and have a sleep at the end here. And we'll go ahead and save. Uh, let's do it in the slot. Is an old man Zebu. So there's a wall behind him that we have to break. Now that we have the sword and ball of fire. Yeah, I see he says use the power to open the way, and that's what we just did. So we did. And doesn't this look familiar? Oh no, <laughs> that could have been bad. So here we are, on Mount Saber again. West, actually. Right at the edge. Yeah, so, we're back here. And I believe I actually have to go back again to leaf. Yeah, everyone's gone now. Alright, so what we'll do is talk to Mr. Bunny in here. So some evil people attacked and took everyone away. So now we're gonna head back to Brynmere. Go ahead and replenish our MP. And we're gonna head over to the area where the big blobs are. Right above the uh, entrance to the poison swamp. Right through here and then up. Get out of here. Yeah, here we go. Awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and climb. We're gonna hit a place called Midairs, I think it is. If I could stop getting caught on the rocks. Yeah. Midairs. Um I think this is an item shop. No, you are an expensive inn. That replenishes MP, warp boots. Let's pick up an antidote just in case. I think that's all we need. And we're gonna have to switch to the Sword of Wind. Now, since I don't have the ball anymore, just the tornado bracelet, if I equip just the sword, the ball's power is included in it. So I have two force bars down there. Dragonia Empire. So that that's our our main enemy. Oh, those swords have a really long range. Jeez. Oh man, they hurt. Whew. No. Okay. Jeez. Go ahead and use a medical herb. I don't remember what enemies are in here, actually. Oh, more poison stuff. 
I'm glad I picked up some uh, antidotes. That's a lot of poison stuff. Jesus. Oh, of course. That's fine. We bought an antidote for a reason. Excuse me, sir. I was already poisoned. Well, triple poison, I guess. But no, not really. Um, you can only be you can only have one status ailment in the game at a time, and poison does not stack. I'll cure that in the next room. Uh, actually, since I have a spare, I'll cure it now. No. Okay. Of, co of course. Jesus. Don't poison me again, please. Okay, so right here is actually a really good spot to grab a couple hundred XP, and I'm going to do that. Uh, you can fast forward. I'll probably make an annotation on the video if you want to skip past all this, but I do need the XP to be able to actually har uh, harm the next boss. And it's not that these guys are like crazy amounts of XP, it's just it's so easy to respawn them. And that they move extremely slow. So as you can see, we've we've gone back and forth just a couple of times, and we're already at uh, 10:48. These guys can poison too, actually. Less than 100 XP away. Uh, I think I'm gonna continue ahead. I've only got two XP left. Um, oh, these these guys. Can I kill these? No. Apparently not. Excuse me, sir. I believe I'm lost. Hey, buddy. There we go. Level 7. So we are good now for the next boss. Break down this ice wall. Oh, um... And the tornado bracelet actually gives you... A third force bubble down at the bottom and what it does is when you use it it will cast a, a wind spell and uh, I'll show you guys here in just a second I think it's this one yeah all right so we're gonna break this wall first this is where the villagers are being kept and this is the innkeeper and the Motorcycle guy, which is actually the shopkeeper. We got key to the prison. We're not going to talk to these guys. They're not important. And they're actually just really uh, rude. That's the guy. Alright, so they have the Elder. And he's being held captive. Pardon me? Oh! Alright, so this... This is the beginning of... The next boss fight. That is... General Kelbesk. One of Dragonia's generals, obviously. 
Oh, hey. Back off. Back off. Oh, he hurts. Even with, with all my armor. Oh, Jesus. Alright, we'll go ahead and refresh. Wouldn't do much. Got him. Awesome. And notice he doesn't explode like the other bosses. He actually runs off. And we get the flame bracelet. So, while well, we've got some time, I'll show you. This is the tornado bracelet. And this is the flame bracelet. It's a big round of fire there. So we're going to use the key to the prison, open it up. And kind of pass through it. And here's the elder. Okay, so next we're going to a town called Portoa. Oh, paralysis, we get a new magic. I actually don't know who that, I don't know if that was Tornell or Zebu who uh, telepathically contacted me. So we're gonna take the ice slide down, which is, you know, really strange where that's placed. But, you know. So here we are in Portoa. And I think we're gonna end the episode there, guys. Uh, if you liked it, go ahead and give me a subscription. Uh, excuse me, go ahead and subscribe. Leave me a comment, tell me what else you'd like to see, uh, and like the video if you, if you really liked it.